What is the Human Development Index? There are various standards that can be used to evaluate how developed a country is. A country's economic growth as measured by GDP and GNI can be used. Or the average life expectancy. Living in a country with high GDP and long average life expectancy can provide conditions to ensure happiness. And it's more likely that you will live comfortably enjoying the advantages of modern civilization. However, we cannot evaluate happiness on the standard of wealth alone. That is why the United Nations uses a summary measure that takes into account how long a baby is expected to live when born, the number of expected years and average years of schooling, and average income of the country's people to evaluate the quality of life of countries in the world. This measure is known as the Human Development Index, or HDI. The HDI was first introduced in 1990 as part of a new approach for advancing human well-being. The new approach is about expanding the richness of human life by focusing on people and their opportunities and choices. Specifically, the HDI measures human well-being on three dimensions. First, health is measured by life expectancy at birth. Second, education is measured by mean of years of schooling for adults aged 25 years and more and expected years of schooling for children of school entering age. Third, the standard of living is measured by gross national income per capita. The annual Human Development Report published by the United Nations Development Program evaluates the quality of life of countries in the world using the HDI. The HDI is a measurement between 0 and 1. The closer it is to one, the higher the quality of life and degree of development. Let's take a look at the Human Development Report published in December 2020. Here are the top ranking countries. According to the 2019 HDI values, Norway ranks number one, Ireland and Switzerland ranks number two, and Hong Kong ranks number three. These countries have the highest level of human development. Something seems a little odd, doesn't it? Countries we usually consider as the world's most powerful do not appear in the top ranks. Why? It is probably because while those countries enjoy high economic and military powers, their citizens' quality of life is not as high. On the other end of the spectrum, Chad, Central African Republic, and Niger rank the lowest. These countries have the lowest level of human development. Let's think about the issues of these countries. Life expectancy at birth in the highest ranking country, Norway, is 82.4 years, whereas in the lowest ranking country, Niger, it's 62.4 years. That's a difference of 20 years. Mean years of schooling in Norway is 12.9 years compared to that of Niger, which is 12.1 years or a difference of almost 11 years. Furthermore, the GNI per capita in Norway is $66,494 in Norway, which is 55 times greater than that of Niger, which is $1,201. The citizens of the low-ranking countries are living a life that is far behind what humanity can enjoy in the 21st century in terms of income, education, public health, and environment. The gap between these and high-ranking countries is expected to further widen due to COVID-19. When inequality increases, the world moves further away from peace. The reason the Human Development Index is measured every year is not to simply rank the countries in order, but to help raise the HDI of low-ranking countries to create a better world where everyone can prosper together. Peace does not come about automatically. It is something that we, need to create together. Let us all work together to help the low HDI ranking countries raise the quality of public health, education, and standard of living of their citizens.